What's going on, guys? Thank you guys for tuning in to 8 Connection TV. Subscribe, baby. Also, check out my two new channels, 8 Connection TV 2 and ACTV Games. When you go through those channels, subscribe and don't forget to ring that bell. Hey, what's going on? I have one quick question, and that question is, can men be faithful? Now, we all know that men can be faithful. That's not a difficult question to answer, but for some insane strange reason in the last four to five years of my existence on planet earth seven out of ten men that I've come across who are in relationships always want to come at me for whatever particular reason they always flirt more than they should they always hint more than they should and so where it's occurred recently I ask you guys the question, can men be faithful? I myself was in a long-term relationship with someone. Uh, the relationship lasted two years, almost two years, two and a half years, two and a half years. And he cheated on me for a year within that two and a half year situation. And... When I say he cheated on me for a year, he had another boyfriend, or the guy, called himself the boyfriend. And they had their own thing going on. I didn't find out about the situation until the guy approached me on the street and was just like, Hey, do you know Joe Schmo? And I'm like, yeah. He's like, well, Joe Schmo is my boyfriend. And so I'm just like, okay, whatever. When I tell you that my life has been a movie that is an understatement because that particular situation just got worse and without even boring you with the details of that situation because i've already expressed it or talked about it in multiple videos on a connection tv i'm gonna let that die down and just once again ask you can men be faithful why do we put ourselves in relationships if we feel or know within ourselves that we can't stay committed now, is it a situation where it just happens because you find someone that actually you're more attracted to than the person that you're actually talking to? And then you kind of inquire about this new person that just happens to come across your life? Or is it someone that you've known for a long time and then you find out that they like what you like and then you guys find out that you have a mutual attraction to one another? Or is it just that you're a hoe and you want to have a lot of fun, but why are you in a relationship if you're that type of person? Why are you in a relationship if you haven't figured out if this person that you've been crushing on for so long actually could potentially like you back? Why are you in a relationship? Why? Is it because of stability? Is it for financial reasons? Is it because you guys have a house together or an apartment together? Is it because you guys are married? That you stay? That you lie? That you act like your relationship is just the best thing since sliced bread, but you're lying constantly to the world and to yourself every time you look in the mirror. And then I have to ask myself, Wesley, what are you doing that these people want you? I mean, people think that I'm attractive. I'm okay, whatever. But I'm not doing anything but being nice. And so do I punish myself for being nice? And some of you guys may say, oh, well, Wesley, what's the definition of being nice? Because I've looked at your Instagram. My Instagram is for myself and the people that decide to view my Instagram. I don't post on my Instagram. If you're married, if you're in a relationship, if you're in a situationship, hit me up. People just do. But then it's always disheartening when I realize that these people are actually in relationships. And then I'm like, okay, why are you even bothering with me? Oh, because you're cute. Oh, because this. Oh, because that. So, I have to say that I've been opposed to being in a relationship because not only was my last real relationship a disaster because he cheated on me for a year, but now every couple that I've been introduced to, seven out of the ten, we'll just say that's the ratio, the men want to holler for a dollar and I'm like why you're already with someone and it's 
not encouraging. It's not encouraging to get into a relationship because the last situation that could have been, I don't know. I have a lot of trust issues and I had a lot of trust issues in that particular situation. Why would someone choose me? Why would someone be happy with me? I don't have my shit together. You know what I'm saying? I'm not 100% legit, if you will. Like the standards that we create for what we want our mate to have, the societal standards, I don't meet that whatsoever. Whatsoever. I can be very selfish. I can be very self-absorbed to a certain extent. I take care of me first in a lot of ways and generally speaking that may not be that hot to many people especially when you're trying to create a partner with a partnership sexually I'm not the best okay as far as caring about your needs and I'll explain I don't like STDs. I don't think anyone does. Sally Tisdale does not need to come knocking at my door at any time. And nowadays, you can do just about anything to catch just about anything. Everyone's always worried about HIV. That's not the only thing that exists, okay? Um, and so for me, because of all of these things that are lingering and looming behind someone's scrotum or in someone's rectum or whatever, I decide to do specific things with specific people at specific moments of my life when I'm specifically in the mood. So I'm not always using my mouth, I'm not always using my penis, I'm not always using these things because I don't want to catch anything. And then at the same time, nine times out of ten, you're needed to satisfy me. Oh, that was terrible, wasn't it? But, I mean, that's just the attitude that I give. So if we're already in bed, you know what it is. So then, yeah. But that's not <laughs> conducive for a real relationship. And mind you, this is new attitude, Wes. This is not the way that I was in my long-term relationship, so don't get any ideas. But this is new attitude, Wes, because I really feel that subconsciously my mind has established a, a, a thought that men can't be faithful and why waste your time and so that's why I haven't wasted my time and that's why I haven't gotten in a relationship because I don't fully trust the person especially in a lifestyle like this where I'm a socialite to some degree and I'm publicly known and people say that they care about me and they know who I am or whatever it's difficult it's difficult being me and then trying to entertain someone in that manner you know what I'm saying so because I always meet couples, everyone's booed up. It's like a status thing. People want to be in a relationship. I always meet someone and they're in a relationship. Because these people are in a relationship and they still try to holler for a dollar, it doesn't promote the fact that I should be in one, let alone I still have my own demons to, to battle and to defeat, okay? Um, now, let's not get it twisted. I can be and will be the best boyfriend in the world when I finally decide to become and, and, and relinquish all of my barriers and just really realize that I can be someone's partner. I will be the best. No worries about it. But at this particular time, I don't promote myself as the best because I don't act like it and I just don't want to be that for anyone because I just don't trust anyone right now. And so what do I do? What do I do? do? Do I allow myself to get hurt by trusting someone? You know, because what if I had trusted that last guy that I was in a full relationship with, fully trusted? Because I don't think, I don't know, maybe I'm different. I really believe that the word trust embodies just that. The full definition of trust is 100%. And so I feel like if I'm in a long-term relationship or with someone I shouldn't be using condoms right because I trust I trust you and I say I love you so then condoms shouldn't come into play but if that was the situation that I if I would have did that oh what is that what is that emotion if I would have did that when I was with him I'd probably be positive now because he ended up with HIV we were in love. I said that we were in love, but we still used condoms. But in my mind, we were in love, right? No, 
I don't think so. That's not true love. True love should never have to worry and should never fear, right? Am I wrong? I don't know. I don't know. Like I, I was talking to a buddy of mine and I asked him, he's in a relationship and I said, do you ever look at anyone else? And he's like, no. I was like, really? He was like, yeah, like my dude is all I need. Like we hang out, we have fun, we do things together. And that just warmed my heart. That just filled me up with, I'm feeling a lot of emotion right now. I don't know why I'm feeling a lot of emotion right now, but that just warmed my heart to hear that. And when he said it to me, he was smiling. I gotta shout you out. Ty, you are amazing. Have to shout you out. Sergio, Ty and Sergio, amazing. You guys have a beautiful thing. And I'm happy for you. Like I said, seven out of 10, so there's still that three. And I think Ty and Sergio are that three. But I don't know. It's crazy, right? It's crazy. I don't know. I don't know what I'm gonna do. I'm in Atlanta now. And people are trying to holler for that dollar. It's obviously always on a sexual tip, but I don't really want you like that. Like, no, like, what do you mean? My right hand handles Curtis quite well. I don't need you. Like, you know what I'm saying? And then everybody's like, oh, I just got tested. Oh, I just, you're lying, aren't you? I don't trust people. <laughs> Oh my God, I'm a mess. But I just don't, I don't trust people. I really don't. Like you guys have no idea. Like the amount of people that I've met, some of these people are like social, like Instagram, like famous people in a relationship and they're still doing their dirt. That sucks, like that really sucks. I think I could be a good actor because I can really pull in on my, um. My heart, my heart strings. I could pull these heart strings and really bust out a tear because I, I'm feeling emotional, like about the concept of love and the fact that I don't believe that I'm gonna find it and that it's gonna find me and it's gonna be 100% authentic and I'm gonna give it a chance. I'm gonna give it a shot, but not be scared because I'm gonna believe in it fully, you know. And it's like I wish I could be Ty, where he's like. Me and my dude, we go out, we have a good time, we laugh, we just lay up, and we enjoy one another. That's amazing. That's amazing. So, it's possible, but when do I allow myself to succumb to that thought of possibly, be, possibly being in a relationship? So, leave your comments below. Let me know your thoughts and opinions on this matter. And, uh, yeah, I can't wait to read what you guys have to say. Love you all for your support. YouTube is playing with my channel, so I don't know how long I'll be doing this A Connection TV thing anymore. Um, but, uh, we'll see. We'll see. I'm in Atlanta now, and I'm sure that this year will be really, really crazy. Love you guys. Thank you for watching. Leave comments. Cheers.